minute. But first, President Obama has gone too far this time, even for him. He tried to scare us on sequestration, but America seems to be getting along just fine. He said janitors were getting pink slips. They weren't. Now he's punishing the kids. No more White House tours for the kids. He let thousands of illegals go free, though. Are you getting it, folks? You see what's happening here? President Obama wants to punish us. Hope and change has become scare and blame. But we're on to his game. Case in point, spending. Does anyone with half a brain really think he wants to cut spending a penny? My pal Alan Combs walked into a buzzsaw last night when Bill O'Reilly confronted him about Obama's lies on spending. Watch. He has to say, here are the programs that are going to go down. Here's how we're going to reform Medicare and Social Security. And the man refuses to do true. it. He yes, it that. is. He has said he was, he was right. willing to cut Hold these it. programs. Hold it, because now I'm getting teed off of you. Give me <laughs> one damn program he said he cut. He has cut what? entitlements. He has cut Not entitlements. Not entitlements. One he program. Think you, you can think disagree with him. That sitting he... in an Oval Office for five years. You think he wants Americans to suffer. With a, with a 17 trillion dollar debt and refusing to say one program that he cut you don't think that's putting a burden on the American what do you people call Medicare I keep telling you I keep no you're not telling me anything it's <laughs> Jack what you're saying there's another we'll have, word we'll for it but it's an upsetting we'll have to disagree right? no it's not about a disagreement you can't back up you can't give me one example of any federal program that he said he would cut not what one. I... all right President Obama really should be ashamed of himself for putting Good liberals like Alan Combs in the untenable position of having to defend the president's lies on spending. Right, Juan? You know, I, I find this whole thing so puzzling. I mean, I'm just, I'm just... Well, I mean, first of all, you know, I just... I think that, you know, Alan walked into a buzzsaw, as you said, but I think Bill overreacted. You know, I think Bill was like, show me something specific that's been cut. And on that point, Bill might be right. But Alan is also right when he says Medicare... If you look at the president's 2013 budget, he's talking about means testing Medicare. I mean, that's that's very real. When you look at the size of this uh, sequestration, I think is a trillion dollars on top of 1.5 trillion you, that the president and Congress committed to cuts in 2011. I, it's so disorienting, though, to hear now Democrats taking credit for cutting Medicare when during the presidential election all we heard was Democrats blaming and threatening that Mitt Romney would do something that they've already done. Right. So well, I'm so disoriented by this, and I know that Bill O'Reilly got very heated last night, but you know what? Good for Bill. Sure. $17 trillion in debt is a serious thing. We talk about it like it's nothing. We laugh. We make jokes. It is a big deal. It's the biggest issue facing this country. And, and, and everyone just shrugs it off. Let me bring no, Kimberly in. Hold yeah. on, one. Let me bring Kimberly. Isn't Bill O'Reilly just saying, verbalizing, materializing everything that most Americans, or at least most conservative Americans, have been feeling. It's been building up and he just Sure, this has been bubbling to the surface. People are upset and frustrated because you have a White House and administration that is treating American people's money like monopoly money, like it doesn't matter, like it's not real, that we're all playing a game here, but they're playing a game with people's lives and it's grossly irresponsible. Then the whole scare tactics, like the nightmare on Elm Street that he was doing, look at the stock markets up, you're losing credibility and fast. They tried to do this, they were playground bullies and it backfired on them. Greg? Well, I mean, watching that video again, it just, it's the reason why Bill and I vacation separately. Uh, I just hate it when he gets like that. His next book is going to be called Killing Combs. It was just awful. Uh, about janitors getting pink slips, it was janitors wearing pink slips. Uh, it, was a, it was a factual inaccuracy. Look, this is the consequences of a president who cries wolf. Now everyone that works for him is heading to the wolf store to get a wolf. It's, uh, it's like the janitor's story. It's closing the White House. And they have, to, they have to make sure that it follows the story that pain is going to be caused. But the underlying message of all of this is that any cut to the government hurts. Mm -hmm. And that there's that every single penny that we give to the government is not wasted, and that is the easiest lie to prove, even for a liberal. Think about that. That is a, absolutely the overlying theme in here. That that the, no matter what happens down the road, no matter what they say, they just don't either side of the aisle. They just don't want to uh, cut any spending because they they say it'll cause pain. Rush Limbaugh has an opinion on what Obama really wants to do to Americans. Listen, it is clear that. The Obama administration doesn't just need the American people to feel pain. It wants you to feel pain. 
It is, it is the number one requirement in order for Obama to succeed at what he's ultimately attempting to achieve here. Kimberly, yeah, uh, Rush. I think Honest? Rush makes a great point. I mean, Obama wants to punish us and put us to bed, uh, you know, at six o'clock without our dinner. But people aren't going to take this anymore. I mean, he's not showing the leadership that he needs to. He's not making good decisions. He scared people and told untruths. That's about as nice as I can say it. And now there's going to be repercussions. I don't think those weird things. Can I respond? Okay. I don't think people actually care. Uh, President Obama is blessed with the most distracted society since ancient Rome. Instead of bread and circuses, we've got Beyonce and Siri. Nobody cares. That's the problem. And he says he wants to meet with Republicans. Uh, he believe, when he believes growth in private sector is greed and growth in public sector is compa and compassion, we don't need a dialogue. We need a deprogrammer in the White House. So, so Juan, if uh, letting illegals free isn't painful and teachers are going to get fired and old people aren't going to be able to eat and kids aren't going to be able to be part of the Head Start program, it sounds like he wants, he was predicting pain. No, well, first of all, these of things, true. The, first of all, you wanted it to come true at the stroke of midnight. I, I think this is pretty simplistic in your thinking, but I just want to say, Kimberly, the right. president approved extensions of the Bush tax cuts that benefited almost every American you know except what? for the very rich. So I don't know about what pain the president... Did. Well, that he did. I just, he you just said he wants to cause pain. Here's a guy who extended the Bush tax cuts. Then then leave him in place. Place. Hold on, hold on. We still have the extensions. No, no. What? Of the Bush tax cuts. Uh, last I checked, but the tax rate went from 36 to 39 and a half percent, and the payroll tax that's holiday went rich, away. That's for you, but check not your for most of check I'm I'm saying you have, no, you check have the social yourself. security. Why pay. You take yourself. it a step further? <laughs> so Rush said that Obama wants us to feel pain. Why does he want us to feel pain? He only wants us to feel pain to cover up his lies and his screw up. He was doing this, spending a lot of money to retain power. Back. That's why they spent a lot of money. Very seductive. Spent a lot of money, retained power. Greek politicians were excellent at it. But now, because nothing came true, right. he has to not manage the sequester. And he's, he's specifically not managing it for a public relations gain. For example,